He has responsibilities. He has responsibility to the club. He has responsibility to his teammates. He has responsibility to to our supporters, everyone associated with the club, and he's he's failed in those duties. So there's got to be sanctions to that. So um, you know we, you know he won't be available for Monday. We've, we've suspended him for Monday's game. But um, beyond that, it's there's also some trust building that needs to happen between Biss and me and Biss and the group. Um, and you know that's what he needs to work hard at from now on to to try and win that back, and that that's got nothing to do with uh, just one game. He may be suspended for one game, but you know he's going to have to earn that. He's obviously disappointed, um, and you know he's very apologetic, not just to me, to the club, to everyone involved. Um, but that's just the first part of the process. The next part is behaviour now. You know, of, of making sure that, like I said. You know, he does the things he needs to do to, like for all of us, you know, if we, we all make mistakes. It's, uh, it's how you kind of find your way back from those mistakes and, and what you do is, is far more important than what you say. He's made a really poor decision. Um, and you want to understand that and you want to try and help him through that. Um, and as a club, you know, what we can do to make sure he doesn't make those kind of choices and decisions uh, in the future. Um, within that context, there's still sanctions that are involved and some of those sanctions include education and, and giving him a clearer understanding of you know, why he did what he did was uh, and how wrong it was. And, and hopefully through that, he, you know, he comes out of it. You always want to give people an opportunity to, to kind of learn from their mistakes. He's a top pro, um, good guy, sort of settled into the dressing room really well. Yeah, footballing wise, um, yeah, you can see that, you know, he has the attributes that kind of fit in with what we're trying to do. It's, there's still an adjustment period there, obviously, because we, we play a little bit differently, we, we train differently, and, and we've seen that with every new signing that comes in. But, um, you know, so far he's, um, yeah, look, he's fit in really well with, with the group and, and with training. and. Uh, yeah, we've still got a couple of sessions to go, but uh, so far, so good. I go into every season uh, with the same kind of target of trying to be successful. Um, starting point for us is, I guess, improvement, improvement in our football, improvement in the consistency of our football. Um, as you said, we had a decent season last year. We certainly you know, uh, improved on the season before just on results alone, but obviously we, we changed the football and... Yeah, we had some really good moments, some 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 moments when um, you know we had to work really hard to get results, and and you know probably the back end of the season was pretty disappointing for us. So there's a lot in there, but for us, if we can get improvement on that and more consistency, I think gives us an opportunity to and a platform to 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 try and achieve something, which is you know what you're going to every season trying to do.